Is the next best checking account coming from a wireless carrier? Check out my video to find out. Thanks for clicking on my video. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this. If you're not a current subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button because you're gonna like this video and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. So yesterday, a wireless carrier announced that they now have their own checking accounts. And that wireless carrier is T-Mobile. T-Mobile announced that it's gonna have a checking account that's gonna provide a 4% interest rate. So we're gonna get into the features as well as the pros and cons of having this checking account from T-Mobile versus going with another online bank or local branch bank. So this was a big shocker to me when I first heard that T-Mobile was actually gonna have their own bank account. And the great thing about it, of course, what hits the headline is the fact that it has a 4% interest rate. And so there are some limitations to that interest rate. In order to get the 4%, you first, you have to be a T-Mobile postpaid customer. So if you're a prepaid customer of T-Mobile, you won't be able to get the 4% with the checking account, but I'll get into more details about that later for non-T-Mobile and non-postpaid customers. But the first step for being eligible for the 4% interest rate is to one, be a T-Mobile postpaid customer. Now, if you are a T-Mobile postpaid customer, and you can put up to $3,000 into the account where you will actually get the 4%. If you put more than that into the checking account, anything over the $3,000 will only earn a 1% interest rate. Other highlights are the fact that there are no fees for this account. There's no minimum balance. There are no transaction fees. There are no ATM fees, and I'll get into those details later as well. And there are also no overdraft fees. So one of the biggest perks after the 4% interest rate is the fact that there are no overdraft fees. So banks back in 2017, they made over $34 billion just in overdraft fees. Now that's not counting any other fees that the bank could charge you, just strictly overdraft fees. Banks as a whole made $34 billion. So with T-Mobile's account, you'll be able to overdraft up to $50 without there being a fee. And as long as you return that money into your account within 30 days, there's absolutely no penalty and no fee. Now, if you go over that amount and you don't return the money within 30 days, then you lose that privilege forever. There's still no fee, but you just won't have that privilege anymore. You'll just be out of luck because you won't have that option anymore. Now, one of the other fees that banks typically charge could be an ATM fee. And there are no ATM fees as long as you use the partners that T-Mobile has partnered with. And those are all point ATMs. And so as long as you use an all point ATM, there's no fee. And within the T-Mobile money app, you can actually use the maps to find out where the nearest ATM is that you can use. That way you won't be charged a fee to, for accessing your money. Now they advertise that they have over 55,000 ATMs nationwide, which is more than the big banks out there. Uh, they show that they have, you know, between 10 and 20,000, many of the national banks. And so you'll have access to a large amount of ATMs. So you don't really have to worry about not being able to get to your money if you need to. Now, with that said, just like most online banks, there are no local branches. So you can't just walk into a bank and get access to your money. The T-Mobile stores are not gonna act as a bank. The only thing they will be able to do in the store is to actually help you through the process with setting up your account. But there won't be a bank teller inside of your T-Mobile stores. So, you know, if you decide to get to this account and you're already a T-Mobile customer, don't expect the stores that sell you your cell phones to also be your bankers now. Now, if you were to use an ATM that's not within the all point network, then T-Mobile still won't charge you a fee, but those other ATMs, the other banks, if you use uh, like one of the national banks, uh, they will charge you a fee and T-Mobile won't reimburse you. So there are some online banks out there that if you use uh, an ATM that's outside of their network, they will actually reimburse you those fees. 
And you can check out one of my recent videos where I talked about the top five online savings accounts for more information for those types of banks. Now, a perk that some of those online banks do have is the fact that they won't have a foreign transaction fee. With T-Mobile's account, uh, you, you will still have foreign transaction fees. They're not charged by T-Mobile, so it's still no fee from T-Mobile, but MasterCard, who is the provider for, of their card, they will charge you a transaction fee if you use it out of the United States. Now, with some of the online banks that I recommend or that I've reviewed and that I've liked, they usually don't have a lot of hoops that you have to jump through in order to get whatever their interest rate or whatever perks that they have that come along with their account. But like I mentioned at the beginning, in order to get that 4% interest rate, you have to be a T-Mobile customer. You can't put in more than $3,000 or anything above that $3,000 will only get you a 1% interest rate. But in addition to that, you also have to deposit at least $200 per month in order to get that 4% interest rate. So this could be a direct deposit from your paycheck, or this could be a deposit in any other manner, like if someone could transfer you money, but no matter what, you have to get at least $200 going into that account every month in order to be eligible for that 4% interest rate. Now, T-Mobile Money, its bank accounts are FDIC insured. So that means if you have up to $250,000 in the account, if T-Mobile were to go bankrupt or the bank partner that they're working with were to go bankrupt and out of business, then your money would be safe up to $250,000 in the account and you would be able to get that money back because it's insured uh, by the federal government. So if you're a current T-Mobile postpaid customer, this does look like it would be a great account for you. And if you use it as your regular checking account, you know, wherever you normally would have received your direct deposits from your paychecks. If you now just change it to the T-Mobile money checking account, then it does look like a great option for you. 4% is a really high interest rate for a checking account. There aren't that many savings accounts, let alone a checking account that's going to give you a 4% interest rate. So I think it's a really great option for a T-Mobile customer. If you're not a T-Mobile customer, I don't really see a reason for me to switch from another carrier or from a prepaid carrier uh, just to get that 4% interest. But maybe that is something that you would be willing to do. But with all of the different hoops that you have to jump through by one, being a T-Mobile customer and two, having at least $200 deposit into the account, it doesn't really seem like a great option to me personally, but T-Mobile customers, this sounds like a great account for you guys. You wanna jump through these hoops, but you still want access to a great checking account or a savings account, make sure to check out my review of the SoFi Money checking account. This was a, another recently announced checking account last week. And also check out my video on the top five online savings accounts. And these accounts are getting above 2% interest rate and there are no fees, there are no hoops to jump through. There's no limit to the amount of money that you can put in and get that interest rate. And so make sure you check out that video. Also, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. If this is something that you as a T-Mobile customer are willing to switch to, just make a comment down in the comment section. If you're not a T-Mobile customer and you're thinking about actually switching to T-Mobile, is this something that's enough to get you to switch from your previous carrier or to move from a prepaid customer to a postpaid customer? And to mention, if you just want a checking account with a 1% interest rate, uh, anyone can join. You don't have to be a T-Mobile customer in order to open an account, but you do have to be a T-Mobile customer in order to get that 4% interest rate on your first $3,000. All right, guys, I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Again, if you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button because you really like this video and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. Thanks.